All right, today on Bumpy Road, I got uh, Papa Gino's Pizzeria Pepper and Onion. A frozen pizza, of course. Uh, New England's neighborhood pizzeria, hot and fresh. Uh, Papa Gino's, you actually go to the restaurant. Uh, not a not, uh, bad uh, joint. Uh, nice little place to to eat some decent pizza. So this one says, cooking instructions, preheat oven to 450 degrees, place on middle rack and oven, which I will do, and then just bake it for 12 to 15 minutes. I'll shoot for that 15 minute mark, just see where it's at. I will be checking the pizza as it cooks. But right now, let's get our gourmia turned on and up to 450. Might as well just start that right now for the preheat and we'll get this going. All right, I'll be back in uh, in a moment. All right, while we wait for this oven to preheat, let's just do a little story time here. Um, it says, when Mike Valerio and his wife opened the first Papa Gino's in 1961 in East Boston, they used the recipes that his family brought over from Italy in the 1930s. That pizza recipe has never changed and is still being used today. That's why every Papa Gino's pizza still has the same distinctive, authentic Italian taste. Now you can enjoy this New England neighborhood favorite in uh, neighborhoods everywhere. Um, yeah, it is a New England original. I'm taking it out of the package. I mean, don't really see the cheese like that, that all that often. It does look like a pre, definitely a pre-baked uh, crust. It already has the the blackening going on a little bit. Uh, so we're, you know, these are frozen pizzas. They are already pre-cooked. We're just reheating them for the most part and melting down the, the cheese. Um, the uh, onions and peppers look pretty decent. I uh, can't quite smell them yet. I mean, they're frozen. But you can smell the sauce. Uh, that is also still frozen. But when I opened up the, the wrapper that it was in, it definitely has that authentic Papa Gino's uh, like that signature smell from the pizza from Papagino's so that's cool they're definitely using their sauce on this uh, but uh, yeah we'll uh, be back once this thing is in the oven and uh, actually probably when I'm taking it out of the oven you don't need to see me put it in okay so it is out of the oven uh, looking looking nice it's smelling pretty nice too you can get those peppers and onions. They do smell, uh, you know, fairly fresh. Anyways, uh, they got life to them and the aromas. Uh, oh yeah, that's that signature uh, smell of the uh, sauce. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely it. it it's a. I wouldn't say you know spot on for my freshly made dough pizza from uh, Papa Gino's, but it definitely has that kind of uh, nostalgic aroma. It doesn't exactly smell like Papa Gino's in here, because this is the only pizza made. It's not like there's a bunch of them being made. Uh, but, yeah, you know, it's it's giving off some good stuff. The uh, under crust, uh, undercarriage, whatever, it's looking pretty nice. Um, I mean, it kind of, the crust already looks like it did pretty much pre-bake uh, maybe a little bit darker in some spots the cheese is looking nice though let's go ahead and uh, cut this see if it has any crispy crunchiness <sighs> just a little bit did seem to cut right through so that's good let's just cut this into four slices piece here. Let's make sure it is cut through. Hmm. All right, let's just do it with our hand. Oh, it's starting to kind of break and fall apart there. Oh yeah, there you go. Well, while well, I do it here, I'll uh, kind of give you a, what I think about this pizza. I'm going to eat the whole fucking pie. 
All right, so I got my first slice here. This Papagino is looking at the undercarriage again. It holds up pretty well. It didn't have a huge amount of crunch as I was cut through, just a little bit here and there. So it's probably going to be kind of a softer dough. Uh, I basically just cooked it off of what the top was looking like, and I did it to the 15-minute uh, mark as the highest recommended on the box. Uh, I did rotate the pizza one time, a little over halfway through. Just kind of even out, because you know it's always hotter in the back of an oven versus an open French door in the front. So just kind of even out the cook, and uh, it smells pretty good. Uh, Price-wise, this was kind of ballpark middle of what you're kind of going to find. It's, it was in that $6 range, so a bit more expensive than the super cheap ones, but not, not the priciest either. Let's go ahead and take a bite. Hopefully I don't burn my mouth this time. I don't think I've even gotten any sauce yet. It's all been just cheese. Uh, so far, it's been very bland. I definitely think there needs to be some more crisp to this uh, crust, though. So I need, need some crunch. Um, damn, I've not gotten all the sauce is sitting right there. I, I don't think I've taken any sauce yet. It's just kind of this bland ass cheese. The peppers and onions don't really have much flavor. They smelled like they were going to them, getting a little bit, just a little bit of like an oniony green pepper flavor, not much. And just bland cheese. I mean, a little bit of integrity to the uh, pepper there, a little crunch to it. The sauce is pretty good. Um, not as good as that Rayo's sauce. It's got a little bit of spice to it. It's not overly spiced. It tastes better than, it's like a marinara. It's a, a nice marinara sauce, kind of. Uh, it's pretty much the Papa Gino's pizza topping sauce. Um, yeah, that's for the crust and everything. It's just lacking. Um, sauce decent the mozzarella cheese on it is just I don't know some of the some cheap ass <laughs> mozzarella cheese is just kind of it's very bland um, needs like a little bit of saltiness to it or something um, the, the peppers and onions haven't really been satisfactory on the flavors uh, at least they didn't taste like they're completely like just freezer burned or something like that so I don't know I'm gonna uh, finish up on this slice we will finish up on the rest of the pizza I'll come back with my final thoughts and score all right I am back with my final slice uh, just stepping on a little bit of beer uh, I'll tell you one thing this pizza is is filling it will fill you up. Um, crust on it's not like a super super thin crust if I can find which way, you know. Um, but yeah, it's got it's definitely a filling crust. Um, but yeah, overall, I mean, the crust has hardly any flavor. It's like chewing on cardboard. This is a this is one of those cardboard crusts. Uh, the cheese is very bland mozzarella. Uh, need some type of spice uh, put on top of the pizza. Probably like what you'd actually get if you went to Papa Gino's. Uh, I think the crust has more flavor there too. Uh, and then the the peppers and onions are almost life lifeless as far as flavor. There's no 
not much coming out of them, just a touch. Um, but once again, it's one of those things where they don't even need to re really be there. They're not introducing all that much to the pizza. And the sauce, the sauce is nice, uh, but there needs to be more of it. There's a lot of bites. I mean, it looks like they loaded it up and stuff, but there's tons of bites where there's like nothing but cardboard crust and bland ass cheese. Uh, so you're just kind of chewing. Um, so kind of unsatisfactory, I'd say, on the flavor factors of this thing. Um, the looks pretty good. The aroma is mostly coming from the sauce. Was nice, um, but yeah, probably cooked it a little bit longer, uh, maybe closer to the bottom rack for a while. Um, Would have maybe helped with the with the crust a bit, but uh, like I said, I kind of went by by appearance, and it looked like it was it was looking good. So, uh, and I went with time the time on the, the box recommender. Um, so let's go ahead and continue eating this. I am stuffed though. Uh, and I'll just kind of uh, give out my score then. See if we can change this. Uh, this. This piece does have more more green pepper on it than any of the other slices. So got a little bit of a crunch from that. Another bite of mostly just cheese. Yeah, that pizza, that was a chore to get through. During that moment of silence, I was really contemplating whether or not I should eat the whole fucking pizza. So I continue these things going forward and I keep eating all this pizza like this. Especially if it's not like going down easy. Jesus. All right, anyways, overall on the pizza, Pretty disappointed. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna score this pizza a three out of ten. It's funny I have had worse pizzas, but yeah, that pizza belonged closer to that four to three dollar range. Definitely not the six something that it was. So. Oh, anyways, thank you all for watching, and uh, catch me next time. Uh, I'll either reviewing a beer or uh, doing another frozen pizza. All right, see ya later.